Ramen Japan, this time in Chiba, known for its fabulous fish. We'll look at two varieties, both from fishing towns. Get them while they're hot. Welcome to Japan, the land of ramen. Surrounded by water with the Pacific Ocean to the east and Tokyo Bay to the west, Chiba is a peninsula. Our first bowl of ramen comes from Katsura on the Pacific side. Long home to a thriving fishing industry, this port town is home to some 20,000 people. Early morning, a skipjack tuna fishing boat enters the harbor. They use no nets, only fishing rods. Katsura is the number one fishing port for this type of fish in the Kanto region. Naturally, the eateries around the harbor are famous for their skipjack tuna sashimi. But by far the most popular item on the menu is actually, you guessed it, ramen! Outside many of the restaurants in the area, you'll find flags advertising ramen, places offering grilled meat, seafood places too. At classic eateries like this. And even this Italian dining bar with a view of the Pacific. Alongside pizza and pasta, here too you'll find ramen on the menu. It's made by Katsura-born and raised Italian chef, Mizuno Tsukasa. The ramen Katsura loves best, tantan men, is very spicy indeed. So how is Katsura Tantan Men made? The standard version is a soy sauce base blended with dashi soup stock. So far, a classic shoyu ramen. But the ingredients that come next completely change the flavor. Using vegetable oil and red chili powder, this shop makes their own chili oil from scratch. Along with the ground meat and onions, plenty of spicy chili oil is added. The father of Katsura Tantan Men is this man, Ezawa Tsutomu. The shop he ran is still in business today. The inheritor of the taste he created, his grandson Masaki, as well as his son Fumihiko. 
、親父に聞くと、そう言ってたときに、満州で食べたのか、きっかけで、辛いやつが入ってたのか、インパクトがあって、忘れられなくて、作ったと。The elder Ezawa opened his Katsura eatery in 1950, and around four years later, he recreated the Chinese Tantan Men recipe he remembered. It was the birth of Katsura Tantan Men. Once Ezawa's Tantan Men became popular with the fishermen, it quickly spread all over Katsura. These men all remember that original taste. しぼをつけないと寒くなっちゃうからって、油分の強いものを食べてたと思う。Ezawa's son, Fumihiko, began working in the shop at just 17. But in 1987, He had no choice but to close the shop. Then, two years later, his father Tsomu passed away. The Tantan Men taste had disappeared. Twelve years passed. The shop reopened. So, 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 the shop reopened. Later, Tsutomu's grandson Masaki also joined him. And that original taste has now passed down for three generations. But after 70 years, I don't think anyone will ever forget it. I think the people of the region are going to be able to do it for a long time. I think it's a dream. 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 Hoping to spread the word about Katsura Tantan Men around the country, the local shops came together to compete in a national competition for regional cuisine. In 2015, they took top prize, becoming number one in Japan. <sighs> to commemorate the victory, Words of thanks are printed on the bottom of every bowl. To this day, they keep the workers on the boats and all the local residents well fed and ready for more. With a view of Mount Fuji, the city of Hutsu lies on the other side of the peninsula facing Tokyo Bay. Lying within its borders, Takeoka is a small fishing port. With around 1,200 residents. A quick look in the city travel guide, and you will find two long standing ramen shops, both originating right here in Takeoka. And next up on the menu is Takeoka style ramen, a unique taste found nowhere else. At this shop, the classic taste of the old original. Is served up in the authentic way by Chef Kawasaki Ryuichi. Takeoka Shiki というのは結構まあ僕も幼少期から食べてた思い入れのあるラーメンですし、でも本当独特だと思うんですよ。Here, Takeoka-style ramen is available only for takeout. Let's see how it's made. 
Most ramen shops use fresh-made noodles, but for takeoka style, the noodles they use are dried. The soup is made with soy sauce that's been used to slow simmer char siu pork. And the only other addition is hot water. No actual soup stock is used. まるで豚肉それをお湯で割るから美味しいんですよね。The fishermen truly love Takeoka ラーメン。昔は朝もう早くからおばあさんが七輪でそのチャーシューを煮てたんですよ。<laughs> this venerable yet humble bowl of ramen was loved by the fishermen for a reason. And something the fishermen especially enjoy. Chiba is also the home of dark soy sauce, an essential ingredient for takeoka ramen. This sumo style ranking from the 19th century lists soy sauce brews in the Kanto region. And 60% of the breweries listed were right here in Chiba. This long standing Futsu area brewer was founded in 1834. He shows us to the fermentation room. Soy, wheat, salt and water, fermented with koji mold, are the raw ingredients. When pressed and filtered, soy sauce is the result. Microorganisms living on the wooden surfaces impart a distinctive flavor. This artisanal flavor, crafted with much time and effort, is the foundation for Takeoka ramen. In 2022, a new Takeoka style ramen shop opened its doors. The owner, opening a shop for the first time at age 67, is Takashi Leiko, a Takeoka native. She uses the same soy sauce base as the long-standing shops. Chiba ramen, fortifying the hearts and bodies of hard-working fishermen. Now loved by visitors from all over Japan. The perfect bowl of ramen, overflowing with gratitude, 
for each and every customer.